Oh, not everyone's talking anymore, so it doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of late. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure I said I was going to be up at 10.30. I need to pack everything, I need to get all my gear ready, I need to load the car, I need to go get my dad, and we're head down to the springs. Unload five boxes for my sister, fly fishing shop, and attempting to trout fish, I think. And then we're going to dinner. It's like 10 things. <laughs> So we're going down there for like less than 18 hours and I have one, two, three, four, five, six bags packed and two giant tubes. That sounds about right. I'm pretty sure this is the focus because the sun's up. Um, we're not going to the hotel anymore, we're going to H Mart again because my dad really wants some pastries and I... We finally left H Mart with a bag of random bakery items that I don't know. <laughs> Literally a bag. And now we're headed down to the springs finally. My dad's calling. Hello. I took the wrong exit. I knew I was looking for a street. I found the street. I didn't take it. So we're making a U turn. In 800 feet, keep right to merge onto I 25 north toward Denver. That wasn't that bad of a drive. I was actually kind of excited to drive more than 30 minutes since it's down. Springs is down an hour here. Kind of reminded me I'm all over the place I'm sorry I'm exhausted I thought it'd be nostalgic to drive a long distance but I'm just not having it my sister has an awesome view though check this out
Nice job. crazy because of Austin and it's like almost 11. We just got to the hotel 